Welcome to the Shift Doctor Water Conference. This is Dr. Marion Ross from Shift Your Life, Dr. Tracy Latz, and Ralph Sudeth, the president of Votronics, who is an expert in water and is probably one of the only holders of patents on a structured water device. Ralph, we're going to ask you today, why do we want to use structured water for agriculture? What are the benefits for the farmer? Okay, well, the first uh, thing that, that farmers are having to address now is the uh, water conservation. Water conservation is becoming a more uh, sensitive issue. People are uh, being allotted certain amounts of water. Like in California, people, right. Like California and around the world. People, uh, people that were used to be water was an was a unlimited resource is now becoming a limited resource, so people are, are, are now having to deal with uh, how to conserve their water supply and how to best utilize their water. And so they're coming out with lots of different uh, uh, products that are make water usage more efficient. But still, no one's addressing the water quality issue. Water quality, uh, which to me is the most uh, obvious uh, way to address the uh, water conservation issue, because water quality, uh, this is the, the science of, of what they call structured water. And what is structured water? Well, structured water means there's an order to the molecules, for one. And two, there's a vibrational change in the water. Now... If you see water as a whole bunch of bubbles just uh, uh, clumped together, these tiny little bubbles, and these are microscopic bubbles, submicroscopic bubbles, mm -hmm. water molecules. Uh, and what happens is when you when you structure the water or you energize the water, those bubbles separate, so they're so they're no longer touching. They're orbiting each other, but they're not clumped together. And it's the clumping together that we call the de-energized or destructured water that makes it hard for the plants to absorb the hydrogen, which is the currency of the water molecule. So the plant actually has to struggle with, with the destructured water because of, of it, the binding of the molecules. Tracy, so, can you translate that very quickly into English? Well, basically what happens when water enters into the state, which is now known as the fourth phase of water, as described by Dr. Pollock, uh, it actually does separate much like what Ralph is talking about, and it releases ions, it releases electrons out that actually makes it so that water burns. Yeah, water not becomes a... Physically, well, not that it physically burns you if you put it on you, but it releases energy. And when you look at photosynthesis, photosynthesis is about plants trying to pull in energy from sunlight to create cells which actually make plants grow. We, in our Krebs cycle, which is our sort of opposite version to photosynthesis, we're trying to create energy through changing ADP to ATP by burning the food as fuel that we put into us. The beauty of this structured or energized water is that it gives the energy that the plant is looking for in sunlight, and it gives us as humans the energy that we're trying to create by eating food and burning that up. So what it does is it does an end run. When you have that sort of energized water there, you don't need as much water so you actually can conserve water, and the plants theoretically should grow much quicker. What can you tell us about that, Ralph, with the plants? The other, the other, another key component is the microbiological community that also that plays a role, a very valuable role in the uh, plant kingdom or the plant uh, growth grow kingdom. And there's a certain balance, an energetic balance, that supports that, that microbiological community. And so when people talk about energized water, that's a mm -hmm. wide scope. I mean, you can use millions of volts of electricity, to, for example, to put a charge in water. Well, that's, that's not probably very conducive to a microbiological community. But it turns out less is more. So finding that right balance, that energetic balance in, 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 in the water as far as energetically, uh, to, that supports the microbiological communities. And when you're able to support the microbiological communities, there's a, there's a, a synergistic 
a relationship between the, the microbes and the plants, and when, with the water being another, again, partner, a, a supportive uh, actor in, the, in, in helping facilitate the, the, uh, the energetics required to, for the plant uptake of the nutrients and so forth. And what, so, what kind of studies, that you've had studies done, and you've also had a lot of, uh, of your devices in, ag used in agriculture. What kind of results have you been getting in yield in, in terms of water conservation? Well, people are seeing a, a reduction of uh, between 40 and 50 percent reduction in water consumption in, in the uh, aquaponic uh, field of agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a slightly less in uh, outdoors mm -hmm. because of the uh, you know the evaporation. Sun, you know, you got different different, but but there is a, a soil absorption. People are noticing that the water is absorb or the soil is absorbing the water and holding on to the water longer. So that's a good thing. Instead of in other words. It's basically not puddling on the top of the soil. It's actually being, you know, uh, it's because of the nature of the structured water. It actually is easily absorbed into the soil. And when it's easily absorbed into the soil, it, it makes for a better uh, soil for the plants. And so that's... They, they get more nutrients that way, don't they? Well, it, it, again, it depends on the soil. And that's the mm -hmm. other, that's the, uh, the other uh, side to working with structured water when you... When you're working with structured water, there is a, an increase in nutrient uptake. There is a, a, another component to energized water. The, the plants will have a higher nutrient value. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the negative side of that is that you, you will actually deplete your, your soil probably faster of its nutrient value. So you have to replenish the nutrients uh, right. back into the soil. What kind so of uptake are you getting in your yield? Um, we're... You're, we're seeing, okay, they have what they call a BRICS meter, and that me measures the nutrient value. Mm -hmm. They're seeing two to three times increase in nutrient value uh, in some cases, So, but certainly more than uh, more than double. So, yeah, and that what, makes what, sense. What are you seeing in terms of rate of growth and the difference between plants growing with this energized water versus without it? Well, we're seeing the... the, the the tests are showing 30 to 50 percent also increase, and they're seeing even higher. But that those numbers almost sound unbelievable. So 30 to 50 percent is is phenomenal. It is phenomenal, and uh, and, and and that makes all the difference. In, in fact, it solves our water shortage issues. The other question I, I does, but pesticides. Do you need fewer pesticides, or do you need pesticides at all when you're dealing with structured water? Well, it, you know, it has a lot to do with the genetics of the plants as well. I mean, there, there's uh, there's a there's communication between the plant kingdom and the and the, and the bug kingdom. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it determine it, it's it's based upon the health of the plant, and and now that we're altering the genes, so there there there, there are situations where uh, the 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 genetic makeup of the plant is actually not uh, conducive conducive for the natural. It's not natural, so mm -hmm. there's there, you're gonna, there's probably a built-in need for certain pesticides for mm -hmm. certain plants. But in most cases, in a natural environment, when you have a high vibrational uh, 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 water and it's being taken up by the plant, the plant has, then becomes a high vibrational entity. It doesn't, it doesn't have the, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, problem that with pests that no other plants do using mm -hmm. unstructured water because it's, it's, just, it's a vibrational issue. Purely a vibration issue. And then imagine that vibration being raised in whatever plant that you're growing, what, what that vibration will do to us and our human body. Absolutely. Well, thank you all for this call. It's been wonderful, but our recorder is running out. So there will be a part two. Okay. If you're interested in uh, obtaining any kind of information, go to shiftyourlife.com and send a note to the shift doctors at info at shiftyourlife.com, and we'll be happy to help you acquire whatever you need for your agricultural needs. Thanks so much. Bye.